Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we have a new video today. It was actually a question that I had that I could not find an answer to online. Um, now I'm not much of a camper, uh, but I know a lot of Prius owners are. And that is because when you fold down the back seats, there is quite a bit of room back there. Now I will not be camping today, but I did have a question that I couldn't find the answer to online, which was if I have the AC running on a warmer afternoon or night, in this example, it's 86 degrees outside and rather humid. If I have the AC on a modest temperature, say 75, how much power will I use and how much gasoline will I burn per hour? And I think this is a valid question because this is about as roomy as you'd need for a smaller adult who would like to go camping. So I think this is a valid scenario and something that's worth testing. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, in this case, I do know the temperature is rather high. 86 degrees is probably warmer than most nights in most areas of the United States. 86 is very warm. It's actually 810 at night. So it's the sun has already set or is in the process of setting. That temperature will start to drop a little bit more. Um, but anyway, having the temperature set to your desired temperature is obviously step one. Right now in the car, I actually have it set to auto. I've covered auto in one of my previous videos where I talked about making sure your hybrid battery is nice and cool. That is what we're going to be using today. It'll keep that car or keep our car maintained at 73 degrees. Um, and I'll, I might turn this up to 75. We'll see. Depends on your sleeping uh, temperature and preferences. I think 73 is pretty accurate for most adults. Uh, so I'll go ahead and leave that there. I've also pre-cooled the cabin. Uh, so that way we get an idea of what the majority of that eight hour period would be like. So first thing I'm going to do is open up hybrid assistant, um, which I also covered in one of my videos for how to, or, uh, for how to track the EV range in a Prius. That was one of my first videos. Um, so I'll be opening that up and we'll go ahead and dive in there. All right. And with hybrid assistant open, the first thing you're probably noticing is my battery temperature from our last video. So I have this set to 98, um, or it's, battery's temperature is currently at 98 degrees. I have it set to A for auto, so that fan is kicking on. I'm actually going to turn that off and let it go to its normal setting so it doesn't get too loud on our video today. Um, but first thing I'm going to do um, once this app is open is kind of monitor my temperature. So I can see my temperature inside the car is 80 degrees. I see the temperature of my device. My phone is 87. And most importantly, I'm looking for this road temperature that's 86 degrees. That's the same as the readout on the dash. So with all my temperatures listed here, I can also click on this section. I can see the temperatures for the outside, the hybrid battery, um, max and min temperatures, or sorry, yep, just the max and min, and then inside the vehicle as well. So that 80 is a little high. I might let it get a little bit cooler in here before I start this test, because initially when you were to go camping, the cabin or the AC would work rather hard to cool down the car and then not work very hard for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna try and get that 80 down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and start the test. And I'll be actually keeping it in the car running for about an hour. And then we'll see how much gas we burn in that one hour period. And we'll see a report within the hybrid assistant app that displays all of this very nicely for us. So hold on tight. I'm going to drop that interior temperature down to 75. All right, we've gone ahead and pre-cooled the cabin. So now we see here that our temperature is at 75. We also cooled down our hybrid battery just a little bit. Might have had that running while I was also cooling down the car. It cools down rather quickly. It only took a couple minutes with the AC on full blast. Uh, so now I actually have the air set to auto on 73 degrees like we discussed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually close out of the hybrid assistant and reopen it. So that way we initiate a new session which will capture the uh, session or the one hour test from a fresh start. So I'll go ahead and hit close and we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so it's opening back up here. And now that it is open back up, we are starting a brand new test. So from this exact moment, we are now have our AC on 73 degrees and our, our uh, one hour test has begun. Uh, now the air is not pulling hardly any power. You can see over here in the far right, we're only pulling 0.3 kilowatts. Um, and then you see that actually jumps up to 0.9. So that 0.9 is when the AC compressor is running and it will actually turn off here in a moment. I'm gonna go back down to 0.3 and 0.3 is when it isn't running at all. So that is cool. Our AC compressor is running very efficiently in auto. It's kicking the AC compressor on and back off depending on how cool we need to have that Freon. 
Um, and it will do that and it will cycle. So the test has begun. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the end so you guys don't have to sit through an hour of this. Um, but then we'll come back with the results and show you how to run that report. All right, so here are our results. Welcome back. Uh, you can see here that our interior temperature stayed at 75. Uh, you can also see our hybrid battery is at 47%, so you know that the car has been running to keep that charged. And actually, what's the coolest part here, you can actually see our runtime. So that's been one hour and 40 seconds. 89% of that time has been with the engine off. So the engine's only running 10% of the time, meaning for an hour, it's only running for six minutes total. That is pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Once I hit close, it'll save the report. Um, and I'll show you where we can actually open the report here in just a second. All right, once we have closed Hybrid Assistant, the next app we want to open is called Hybrid Reporter. Both of these apps are found within the Android web store. Uh, so if you are looking for them, you can search for them by name. Um, but the Hybrid Reporter app will work in conjunction with the Hybrid Assistant to generate reports based off of the session where you were running Hybrid Assistant. So if I click on Hybrid Reporter, you will see my past trips. Uh, this one was zero miles, which is why you're seeing there. I can also attach notes. Um, but for this top trip, I'll click on there and you can see Generate Report, which is what I'm going to do. And then I can see some options for my report, such as the fuel price, which we will not need today. Um, all I need for today is Engine. So I'll make sure that Engine is checked, go up to the top of my screen here, and then I will go ahead and click Generate Report. When the report generates, you'll see a trip summary up at the top. Those links will take you where you need to go. Here is our number of uh, hours or, and minutes for the trip session. So you can see here the total trip session was an hour and one minute with 54 and a half of those minutes being with the engine off. Um, what we really care about is down below. And you'll have to scroll for a little ways here where we can see the engine section or if you go up to the very top where we first were, you can always just go to engine. And then here, right below the section here, I believe it's below fuel consumption, and you can zoom out too if you would like using a pinch. Uh, but here we have energy from the petrol engine. So here you can see 0.66 kilowatt hours um, is the energy that was generated from the petrol engine. And so I have some math on some paper for how we can turn this number into a gasoline figure. So we'll go ahead and do that next. All right, so here are our figures. So we have 0.66 kilowatt hours, which is what we have right here. Um, that was the energy from the petrol engine. And then we also need to factor in the efficiency of the engine. So the engine's only 40% efficient, um, which actually sounds really bad, but that is actually pretty good for a gas engine. Um, and then we have to go ahead, and once we do that math there for 40% efficiency, we know that we actually used 1.65 kilowatts of the gasoline energy from that gallon of gasoline. Um, and from the EPA, we know that 33.7 kilowatt hours of energy exists per gallon of gas. So doing some quick math there, we can see that really what we used was 5% of one gallon of gasoline because 1.65 is 5% of the 33.7. Now, this is per hour because our test was only one hour. So really, if you factor that in, times that by eight, you then are going to use roughly 40% or 0.4 gallons of gasoline for an eight hour duration of a camping trip, which is remarkable. Most cars will use anywhere from 0.2 to 0.4 gallons per hour, uh, rather than 0.2 to 0.4 per eight hour period. And that is because the hybrid battery is sitting here running uh, every, uh, it's every six minutes, um, it will kick on for one minute, essentially is, is how that will work. So pretty cool that we're only gonna use 6% of the time or six minutes out of an hour to run that hybrid battery. And cool that we'll only use 0.4 gallons for an eight hour time period. Again, so temperature is still 84 degrees. I have it set at 73, so it's been going. Um, pretty good test here, but it was a, something I had a question with and didn't have the answer. So I wanted to go ahead and test it myself. Uh, that is the basis for this channel. So if we have any more questions or items you guys wanna see, drop them in the comments. You like this video would like to see more like them please subscribe and any comments that i see down below i am always trying to answer those so we all can learn something but as always you guys have a great rest of your day bye, -bye now